Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in James chapter 2, verse 14. What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? In the words of the Apostle Paul, we are told, friends, that we are saved by grace and not by works. But here comes the Apostle James saying, that yes, we are saved by faith, but it has to be accompanied with works. See, he was saying that without works, that faith that we have is dead. And it's so true, friends. It's so true. What kind of faith do we have when there is no deeds that accompanies it? There has to be evidence that indeed we are saved by faith. Amen. Because if there is no works to accompany, how will people know that we are even saved? But this work that is demanded is not the work that we know. Just doing good to people and those things. No. More especially, obedience to the word of the Lord. Amen. That is the work that we get to do. The deeds that we get to do. Be obedient to the word of the Lord. Yes, we can always say, Jesus is Lord. He is my Lord and I love the Lord. Well, Jesus would welcome that. But he said also that he who has the commandments and obeys them, he is the one who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my father and I too will show myself unto him. So friends, he was saying here that, do you really believe in me? Do you really love me? Then he said that I want deeds. I want you to do it, show it, obey my commandments. Amen. See, he who keeps my commandments and obeys them. Friends, that's the deeds that we got to do. And you know what happens, friends? If we uh, obey his commands, then comes the good works, the, the deeds. Because the commandments of the Lord is that love one another. Then we can love one another out of obedience to his command. Then forgive one another and then help one another all those commands friends of being good now the good works that we know well it comes from his commands and we if we do this out of obedience to his command then that's pleasing before god amen if we do good works to others helping them extending a helping hand to them in obedience to the word of god it's pleasing you know why because we don't do it to please man. We don't do it to show off. We do it out of our love. Because that's the command of the Lord Jesus Christ. But how many people would do these things just because they want to show off? Because they want to get the glory. But the deeds that is commanded is obedience to the word of God. Amen. Therefore, let us excel in obedience. And then that confirms our salvation, that indeed we are saved, that our confession is not empty. See, a lot of people can always say that, Lord, Lord, Lord. But Jesus also have said that not everyone that calls me Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven. And then they will say, did we not cast out demons in your name? Did, did we not preach in your name? Well, they did, friends. And they confessed that Jesus is Lord. But the thing here is those people, preaching that they did the casting of demons that they did the good works that they did they did it on their own not in obedience to the commands of the lord therefore there is no life in it amen there is no life in it because it has to be anointed well that's the reason why when we do things let's not just do it because we know how to do it that we are capable that we are equipped on our own standard now let's do it by the grace of god amen always obeying his commands keeping in step with the holy spirit then there that is a good witness a good evidence of our salvation amen because we are told friends that we are also designed to do good works after our salvation see there has to be an evidence that jesus is with us when we are born again there has to be evidence and the evidence will be the works that we do and those works we are guided by the holy spirit because we are obeying the commands of the lord 
Amen. And so friends, again, do this exactly. Amen. Let's do the work, the good works that is required of us. So check yourself. What have you done so far? Is it just empty confession that you are born again? Well, let's go beyond that confession. Let's do something else. Let's obey the commands of the Lord. Amen. That will be the deeds that will accompany our salvation. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon each of you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.